Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 2 of this uh, Football Manager Save on the old Golden Black YouTube channel, something a little bit different. I know um, I haven't, I've just finished recording the first episode so I don't know what sort of feedback it's had or anything but thank you if you did watch the first episode and you've come back to watch the second one. So it's the first game in the World Cup, we've got Belgium, at, uh, you can already see that Tunisia have beaten Panama in the first game in our group so we're going to move on now to our game. I can't remember exactly the team that I had uh, in the last episode against Morocco, but we're going with Tom Heaton, Ben Mee, Keane and Tarkowski at the back, Bertrand and Byram because, uh, what's his name, Liam Rossini, the other right back that we've got in the squad is injured, although he's fit enough for the bench. And then we're going with Shalaba and Shelby in the middle and Grealish, Redmond and Wilson up top. Although I am a little bit tempted to play... Um, Madison or Sturridge because they played a little bit of a part in the previous game and did okay as well as Tom Carroll who came off the bench and scored uh, but I'm hoping that perhaps saving him for the second half might be good we've got to be a little bit cautious against Belgium this is of course the toughest game in the group uh, and we'll see how we get on Belgium we've got Courtois uh, Vertonghen company Alderweireld and Moinia is that it? Nang Nangoglin, I hate saying that name, I can't say it. Uh, Witzel, uh, De Bruyne, Hazard, Bailey and Mertens. So it's going to be a busy afternoon I think for our back three against that front line there. Here we go. Hazard, De Bruyne, Vertonghen blocked. Witzel has a shot from distance and that goes miles over. So th th yeah, this was the game plan that we talked about, keeping quiet for the first 20 minutes, you know, just make sure that we're still in the game. You know, we haven't had much of the ball at all, uh, but we haven't had any shots either. We've been absolutely battered in that respect. Closing in on half time now and we haven't had a single highlight in this half, which is very, very positive. Fantastic. We've got to half time at nil nil. That's the best that we could have hoped for. We've been absolutely dominated. Uh, Tom Heaton having the game of his life, five saves he's held. So I don't know we've particularly been threatened by uh, Belgium too much. Tom Heaton with a goal kick. We've got a highlight here, and it looks like it's going to be a highlight for Belgium. Here's Hazard into the box there. Mertens, good save. Half away, Bertrand clears it away. Good save by Heaton there. But another highlight for Belgium. Here's Hazard cuts inside, and it's miles wide. 21 shots to our one now <laughs> from Belgium, but still nil, nil with half an hour, but just over half an hour to go. Company back to Courtois. So we had the ball in their half there. <laughs> it's Alderweireld and company using the ball well now to come up the field. Mertens, Hazard, Bailey, Hazard into the box, and it's a goal. Oh, no, he's not. Oh. What happened then? I thought he was in. Corner. Mertens in. Away. Mertens again. Hazard. Tiedemans. Vertonghen. Pushing them out. 15 minutes to go. One shot still to their 30. <laughs> so we've got a sweeper now. Jamal Lascelles. 6-1-3 is the formation. Tom is going to drop back as well. For some reason the game's going really slow. Tiedemans. Bailey, Hazard, can we get Burke and get a tackle in, anybody? Munia, into the box, ah, oh, it's away. Whew. They've defended like absolute beavers, Jeff. Hazard again, shoots wide, goal kick for England, five minutes to go. This would be a massive, massive point in the group. Edmund, has a go for Mars, that's our second shot of the game. <laughs> Not a single shot on target, but they've had 30 odd and they haven't managed to score. Here's Mertens out wide. Bailey. And it, oh, you're joking. What a goal. Own goal. Oh, blow. Oh, dear. <sighs> Unlucky. Unlucky from England. Not good enough on the day. <laughs> dear me. 35 shots to our 2, 11 on target to our nil. That's my fault, you know. I've, it was just one of those days, boys. Right, so it's time for our second game of the episode. We've got Tunisia in the World Cup with the favourites for this game. Uh, although 
opportunity to win their first game. We lost ours. It's a massive game for us. So, anybody from Tunisia that we know? Kasarui, Malou, Adeno, Benaluan, Bron, Jabali, Azumi, Slitty, is it? Chedhui, <laughs> Kaziri. He looks like Roberto Carlos, then number 10. So, God knows what's going to happen here. We'll, we'll give it a good go. This, of course, was the uh, opening game of the 1998 World Cup uh, for England. It's Tunisia. And he plays it long. This is quite a long highlight. Something's going to happen at the end of this, surely. Hopefully not a goal for Tunisia. And here we go. And it is. It's a goal for Tunisia. And England look like they could be going out of the World Cup almost straight away. Still early in the game. Still have a lot of time. Grealish strings it in. And it's another corner. Shelby into the box. Flapped out. Keane. What can he do here? He can lose it to Jabali. And now Tunisia come on the break. Looking dangerous. They've got men over. Uh, they slowed down and they stopped. Great stuff. Across the pitch to Bertrand who cuts inside. Bertrand on his left foot. Now can he get a good ball into the box? He can. But again, the Tunisia break, and we look exposed in the midfield, and that's because I decided to take Shalabert off for Madison, and here's me then with a throw in, and he loses it, Madison. Oh, nearly. Oh my gosh. 2-0 to Tunisia, and, well... It's it's all over for England. something happen now. A bit more direct from England in the second half now. Grealish, Sturridge, Shelby and it's straight out of play and we're back to square one. But still the highlight goes on and Wilson has got to go straight away. We're back in this. He picks the ball out of the net and he's desperate for England to stay in this World Cup. 30 seconds into the second half. Good play from Sturridge chipping it in towards Wilson who volleyed it home magnificently well and England we do have a chance in this game now. Here we go again. Kazri, me, plays it forward. Here's Bertrand, as oh, no, Redmond, into the box. And it's in! Daniel Sturridge. And we've turned it around from being 2-0 down to being 2-2. Me with a magnificent ball there. was just slagging him off only moments ago. But then Redmond, good ball into the box. And Sturridge rose like a salmon to nod it home. And England have drawn level with half an hour to go. You do have to back them now. Bertrand chips it forward. Tunisia a bit of a mess at the back there, but they come away with the ball. Shalaba slams it out to Grealish. Grealish back post, and it's Wilson who taps it home. And England has turned it around. Callum Wilson's second goal of the game. Tunisia looked as if they were going to break, but Shalaba slammed it over there to Grealish, who took it down outside of their foot, and then it's header was saved by the goalkeeper but then Wilson was the first to react there and they really have played well in this second half they really have right with John just Shelby on a booking and 15 minutes left I think I've got one change left uh, and it's going to be Tom Carroll for John Joe Shelby because I don't trust him and this should be it what a turnaround there's the final whistle, Callum Wilson. Give him, give that man an MBE. So, here we are on the last day of the group, and here's the sitch in the group. Uh, Belgium pretty much qualified. Uh, the only way that they could not qualify is if Tunisia beat them and we beat Panama. So, if still possible, I think the goal difference uh, for Belgium is plus four, so they should be okay. And you'd imagine they'd beat Tunisia anyway. Our situation is England need to beat Panama and they will qualify. Um, thanks to that fantastic turnaround 
in the game against Tunisia in the last game and hopefully we'll be able to do that in that. Panama looks like they've got a uh, former England cricket player Ricky Clark playing up front. They've got Victor Valdez in goal, uh, Ricky Lambert in the middle of mid midfield. They've got the whole of the Villarreal squad at number five uh, and a Bovril at number 12 there. Yeah, so we're going for a much more direct approach in this game and hopefully against probably the weakest team in the group we'll be able to pick up the three points which will take us through to the knockout stages. Elsewhere, Belgium are winning, which helps us out, so it should be okay. I think we probably still will qualify, but here comes Wilson anyway. Right inside of the box, swings it in, bouncing about. Redmond, can we get it in, please? Oh dear. Bertrand swings it in, and it's bouncing around there. Unlucky for Callum Wilson. Grealish into the box, bouncing around again. It's difficult to see what's going on with this rain. Shalaba, Grealish. Gets it in, away. Carroll, can he get it back into the box? He can. But Victor Valdez, I know it's not Victor Valdez. Still only 1 0 in that game. Uh, and even if we lose this game now, we should be okay. Tom Carroll into the box. And Valdez, what a save. Unbelievable. Six shots on target. It's been the best half in terms of creating chances and possession that we've had so far. Uh, 2-0 now to Belgium, as you can just see there, so Tunisia not a threat anymore. Sad Byron is injured. That right back position has really become quite a quite a problem. We have got Liam Rossini, but he's not fit. So I am going to try our mate Connor Cody becoming the first Wolves player since Steve Bull to play in the World Cup. Or Chelsea for Panama. What a save. And he's gone in. <laughs> Oh, good. The <laughs> Panama are winning. What does that mean? We're still going through. <laughs> but DM me. This would be embarrassing if we'd. If, oh my god. <laughs> oh, here we go. So is surely. Oh my gosh. See the bar then. Oh, what a save. <laughs> Panama score a couple more. They could be, <laughs> they could be going through. Uh, let's bring on James Madison for a bit more of an attacking threat. <sighs> dear, oh dear. Twenty minutes to go. England nil. Panama one. Here we go. Bertrand on the left hand side. Can he get a decent ball in? No. Madison though. No. Fires it back in. Sturridge equalises. Thank goodness for that. We didn't want to. We did. <laughs> Bertrand did well. He thought he'd run it out of play, and then Madison controlled it and then slammed it back across. Saved by the goalkeeper and then Sturridge was there to tap it in. Goodness gracious! Madison though, again, great, great decision by the manager to bring on uh, Madison at this stage of the game. Bertrand, England looking for that winner, and here's Sturridge again and. Valdez has had the game of his life. Can we get a winner? Redmond. Madison into the box again. And it's bouncing around still. It's cleared away. Five minutes to go. Bendy. Madison. Sanchez plays it forward. Connor Cody leaves it to Heaton. He plays it wide. And England can't make anything happen again. Redmond. Forward, Wilson's there, it's a penalty, it's a penalty, it's a penalty, Panama are livid, but it's definitely a penalty, and who's this going to be stepping up to take it, it's going to be Sturridge, and he misses of course, <laughs> <laughs> England not being able to beat Panama, I don't know why Sturridge was taking that, five minutes of added time, can England win this game? Wilson, Sturridge, Grealish, and it is in. Callum Wilson. <laughs> That's quite a few goals he's got in this World Cup in three now. But they left it late, England, but they've they've won this game as Belgium go three 0 up against Tunisia. England go through second place in the group. They made hard work of it. They had to come from behind against Tunisia and against Panama, but we're through nonetheless. And join me again. 
tomorrow <laughs> if you really want to for the knockout stages of this terrible World Cup. But I mean, if this happened in real life, if England got through to the group, uh, out of the group, everybody would be dancing on the streets, wouldn't they? And let's see who we've got now in the next round. Do we know yet? We do. It's Poland. Ooh. So another winnable game. We are favourites for that. Um, so yeah, drop a like, subscribe if you're enjoying it, and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow, or whenever. Bye.